Good evening, everyone. Protests expected at this hour on the SUNY Brockport campus in the lead up to the virtual talk featuring Jalil Muntakim, also known as Anthony Bottom, who murdered two New York City police officers in 1971 and now lives in Brighton. Adam Chodek is on the story for us tonight and joins us live on campus. Adam, tell us what you're seeing. Hi, Teresa. So we're on the quad right now here on the SUNY Brockport campus. If there is going to be a gathering this evening, we expect this is where it's going to be. We're told folks associated with both Blue Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter will turn out. We'll have to see. Right now, we just see a smattering of folks, nothing substantial, but that could soon change. There is, however, an increased presence of law enforcement here on campus. I saw a little bit of that today. Even though this event is virtual, public safety crews from other SUNY schools Schools seen here, some bomb sniffing canine crews in the mix. All this because of the uproar among some over the invitation by a SUNY Brockport professor asking Jaleel Muntakim to talk about what we're hearing will be a host of issues that include his association with a Black Panther Party offshoot group and civil rights. Unclear if he'll talk about the murder of the two New York City police officers. This event is set to begin at 6 30 tonight. And we spoke with two student journalists for the student newspaper today who told Told us what the atmosphere has been like on campus. A lot of students are unaware of what's even going on. So they're seeing police come on campus and they're about to see a lot more with Cortland coming. As yeah, well. especially with the dogs as well. Some students were stopping and looking and they were getting a little worried. And by the way, Caitlin Stair, the student journalist you just saw on the right, she's an intern with us at News 8. School buildings on campus right now, they are closing down. Some classes are being canceled, all in anticipation of this. We're going to break down now. We're going to circle around, see if anything's going on, and we'll come back on air at 530 and let you know what we're seeing. Teresa? All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Again, the virtual event is scheduled to begin at 630. There were limited number of openings for viewers, and so there were, they were held for the SUNY Brockport community.